We received a visit from Hurricane Idalia this week, and our forecast was for four to six inches of rain with strong winds. So to be on the safe side, I moved our ferns onto the screen porch to protect them from the high winds and all the rain. I also moved our plants that are out on the patio. I just slid them under the pergola so that they could get some rain, but that it would shield them from most of the rain and the strong winds. So they were safe under here and they could still get a little bit of rain that they needed. Thankfully, all we got was rain. It was a slow, steady rain all day. We are still praying for the people that are affected by Hurricane Idalia, but we are counting our blessings from the storm. After the storm, the porch did need to be cleaned, so I decided to take this opportunity and go ahead and refresh it for fall. And we've had these chairs on this porch ever since we moved in. And I really like them here, but I think that we may want to do a few school days out here and just relax on the porch as the nights get shorter and hopefully a little bit cooler. So the first thing I do is I take up the rug. I got this rug off of Amazon and it is washable. And that has been a game changer on this porch. We let Annabelle come up here often and it's very nice when I can just roll this rug up and just put it in the wash machine and clean it. One of the things I like to do when I'm doing a refresh is change up the furniture. So I like to buy the furniture where it's the same color scheme so that I can do this and move it from place to place and give the space a whole new look just by changing out a few pieces. So I'm moving these Adirondack chairs out onto the deck to change up that space. And then I'll have a clean slate on the porch to work with for fall. I use this green table out here on the porch for summer, but I am gonna change it around too with another table. Now I do use my cordless vacuum cleaner on my porch. I love to use the vacuum cleaner out here to pick up pet hair and leaves that have fallen off of flowers. And it's just really convenient to pull your vacuum cleaner out to use on your porch. I decided to move this set from the deck onto the screen porch. We got this set from Walmart and it's so comfortable and it's such a nice set and I have moved it to every outdoor space we have that it would fit in. And I think it'll be a lot more comfortable out here for us. I did move the green table back onto this porch because I love the pop of green with the black and white stripes, but it seems a little too summery to me. So I'm gonna put this brown table between the chairs and just have the green table off to the side to hold plants and different things we need while we're out on the porch. Next step was changing the wreath on the tobacco basket to something a little bit more fallish. I found this grapevine wreath in my stash and since it's the same color as the tobacco basket, I decided to spray paint it. Now I could have skipped this step because as I make the wreath, you really cannot see what color the wreath is anyway. So, I am glad that I did this step though because it really makes the wreath look really neat when you spray paint it. And the sky's the limit. You can paint these wreaths any color and it just adds a really cool effect to the grapevine and it makes it pop when you paint it. So I'll be revisiting this DIY a little bit later in the season and see what I can create with a painted grapevine wreath. Y'all know how much I love my hydrangeas and I use these year round. And when they're dried on the vine, I think they are just as beautiful as they are when they're in full bloom in the spring and summer. And I use these year round and I even use them at Christmas and just stick red berries in them just to make them festive. But I wanted to make a hydrangea wreath and I've never made a hydrangea wreath. I've always wanted to but I've been intimidated by it because the flowers are so fragile 
and I really didn't want to mess them up. So I thought, well, I'll just cut some of these off of the vine and do a wreath for my outdoor space and just see how it turns out. And so I just picked a few of these. Some have dried on the vine and I just took my grapevine wreath and added the flowers to it with a little bit of hot glue. I love how it turned out and I'll be making more of these for sure. love this goldish brown color for fall. I bought these pillow covers years ago and I just keep using them year after year. I think they look beautiful with the black and white stripes. And then I just added this basket onto our mug rack and just put some florals that I had on hand inside. And I just went and used that bright orange color. And then this is the first pumpkin that I've added this year. I just stuck it right in this basket and I just love how it turned out. I love the texture and the colors. And then this lantern, I've had it for years and I just move it from place to place. I put one of these battery operated candles in it and then I used these florals in our dining room last fall, but I just used them in this lantern. It would probably be easier to use a garland, but I love the colors on these and so I just moved them around inside the lantern and made them work. had some of this beautiful ribbon left over that I used last week on our swan that is on our built-ins and so I just took a little bit of it and tied it around the top of the lantern. It is that golden brown color that I love so much for fall. I just did a simple knot and just let it hang down the lantern and just add a little more texture and color. One of the things that I like to add to our outdoor spaces are string lights. They just add that little bit of coziness and they can take your outdoor spaces to the next level. I was so excited when XM Cozy Plus reached out to me to try their outdoor string lights and I knew that I wanted to try them in our space. I have used solar lights in the past and so this was different to try these electric string lights. This strand has 15 Edison shatterproof bulbs. You can order these strands in different lengths. They come in 32 feet, 48 feet, 96 feet, and 120 feet. This strand is 48 feet. It also comes with the cable ties and the S hooks. It also includes an extra light bulb in case one needs to be replaced. These lights are a warm white, which is my favorite in outdoor lights. They are also waterproof and you can connect up to 33 strands into these lights. These bulbs are also energy saving LED bulbs and they are easy to install. I love the look of string lights and trees and we have this huge camellia bush as you walk out of our screen porch area and it offers a lot of privacy and a lot of shade. And so I thought that it would be nice to just string the lights into this tree. I think that it would add a little bit of 
coziness and a little bit of security as you can see when you come off of the screen porch and I really needed another strand but I really love the look of this and the light that these string lights offer. I really like these lights. They were easy to install. They're waterproof and they're just really nice lights. We really love these lights and if you would like some of your own, you can click the link in our description box below. Be sure to also click on the 30% off coupon and get an extra discount off of these lights. Well, friends, that wraps up this week's video. If you enjoyed this kind of content, please leave us a thumbs up and give us a comment and let us know. And you can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, and our blog, Our Contented Home. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.